welcome back to my channel. Today I have a subscription review for you and we have been waiting a while for this one. Got the new Deck of Scarlet. This is palette 04 and it is incredible. So the way that this works, you just take it and open it up. It's really well protected in here. It's got this extra thing. It comes with a card to introduce you to your editor-in-chief, which this month is Melly Sanchez. She got to make the palette, and all that is goals. I want to make a deck of Scarlet palette one day. And in here, it says you're in. It's a nice, cute little touch. <clears throat> okay, so you take off this first layer of protection. You got the palette and whatever extra comes with it. There's always an extra. Usually it's like a lip pencil or a lipstick or an eye liner. I can't even think today. But anyways, here's the palette. Comes in this protective sleeve and looks the same right here. And are y'all ready for this? I looked at this last night and I like, I died. It's so pretty. I've seen the pictures, but they just don't quite do it justice. <clears throat> okay, so you've got the two flaps and you have a mirror. There's the camera. And then you have this. So what this is, is going to be three eyeshadows, a blush, a highlight, and two lip colors. And basically, that just sets you up to be able to do almost your entire face with just this one palette. And then in this one, we also have this also says Deck of Scarlet on it. And one end is a lip graphic lip crayon called Play It or Playa. I don't know which word they're actually referring to, but I'm going to go with Play It. And then you have your lip liner in tease. And I'm going to use this on my lips today because I know the lip colors in the palette. They're a little, they're not sketchy. I mean, they're really pretty, but they're not transfer proof. And I'm hoping this one might be. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is just dive right in. I'm going to do my eyes first. Then I'm going to leave y'all for a second while I do my foundation and my contour. Then I'll come back and show y'all how this highlight and blush works out and do my lips. <clears throat> so there is no transition shade in this palette, if you can't tell. Unless you wanted to use the Sparkly Pinot Grigio, which I don't think I want to do because I like a matte shade for my transition. So I'm just going to go in, and this is called New York. It's a sparkly kind of slate gray. You have Sagittarius is your red color, and then Diamond Dust is right here. And I'm just going to go in on a kind of, I think this is a dense like blending brush with Sagittarius and try to go in lightly in my crease. So let's see how this one works out. And there's very little kickback. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but we're going to go with it being a good thing. So we're just going to hop in right here. And I'm really into these kind of red looks lately. I feel like they're just so dramatic and sultry and I like some. And this is a little harder to blend without a transition shade, but considering there's nothing underneath that, it's actually blending pretty good. Um, and it's not that hard to just grab a quick beigey nude color and put a transition shade up in there. Okay, so on to my other eye, and we're going to speed through this, like always. Okay, so I feel like I have that built up pretty nicely. So now I'm going to 
dip in with this little pencil brush and grab that darker color New York and this is coming off kind of like a glitter and I'm just gonna put it in the outer corner and probably on the edge of my lid just to give this some depth and since this is a shimmer shade it will probably take a little bit longer to build it up quite as intense as I would like it that's always a personal preference though because <clears throat> some people don't like their eyeshadow quite so intense as I do but I prefer have it a little dark over here in this corner okay and when you go with the shade maybe do your eyeshadow first or put some powder down because that does have some fallout the red didn't but that one does okay so Here's how that's going to look, and same drill, we're just going to speed through this other eye real quick. Okay, so the fallout from that color is real, but y'all know I'm going to go clean it up in a second, so that's okay. The last thing we're going to do is take this gorgeous diamond dust color and put it on the inside of the lid. And I lied, that's not like the last, last thing. But it's the last super important thing we're gonna do. So we're just gonna pack this on, and oh my goodness, when I swatched it yesterday, it didn't swatch as well as I wanted it to, and I was so scared that it wasn't gonna perform the way I was hoping. But that is so pretty. Flawless. This is really good. Um, I'm actually going to tag the editor in chief below. I'm going to put her in the description because she deserves some serious props. Like, I loved my last two palettes, especially my Babs Beauty. It was just like, it was cute because, you know, it had all the pinks and stuff. And so it was just kind of adorable. And I'm just going in right now and touching up this and getting these little harsh edges out. Like it was adorable, but this is like, I don't even know the word for this. I really like it though. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm gonna go in on this flat brush with our highlighter, the Pinot Grigio. And I'm just going to put that by my brow bone right up here. And yes, y'all, these brows need some serious love. I'm actually going to do my inner corner with that. It's so shiny uh, while I'm off camera. <clears throat> so let me go and do this face and clean all this up. And I'll be back in a minute to finish showing you all the rest of the collection. Alright guys, so I'm back with all of my face makeup, my lower lash line, my eyebrows, and lashes. Y'all, I got these on completely right. Like, look at this. You can't even like, well, I mean, they're obviously fake, but you can't see them. And I actually, this is the first time I've ever applied lashes right. This is monumental. Because that's one thing, like, I'm just... I can't or I couldn't but I did it and I'm excited and if you want to know how I figured it out I took my pure lashes out of my boxy charm from a couple months ago and I just like trimmed off like two little sections of it and made them like this long instead of like this long and now they're like so much easier to apply so now I know that if I cut them down it's easier to do and that's incredible because Lashes is what I was lacking, I feel. And I also got some baby wing liner that I did better on this side than this one, but I tried. Okay, so now we're going to test out the rest of the stuff in here. <clears throat> and what we're going to do first 
is dip into this blush. It's kind of dark. Um, it's called Adorable. We'll see how pigmented it is to see how dark it actually is. I'm going to tap it just in case. And it is pretty pigmented, but it looks like it's pretty easy to control. It's a really pretty color. I like it and I'm just going to focus it kind of right over my contour. And that's pretty, pretty nice, not going to lie. That's a, it's a good color, which if you don't like slightly darker blushes, it may not be for you, but I've always kind of liked darker blushes better. <clears throat> it's just always kind of been my thing. So now we're going to dip into this highlight, Pinot Grigio. And we are going to see how this plays out. Ooh. Okay, so compared to the kind of highlights I usually use, which y'all know, I use like ABH and Jeffree Star and whatever. This isn't nearly as pigmented as those. It's a really subtle highlight comparatively. However, a lot of people like a subtle highlight. I mean, look, it's got just like the perfect amount of shine right here. So, I mean, it's not just blinding, but it's very pretty. And that is always, always good. Because, I mean, a blinding highlight is what I, I live for. But it's, it's not required every day. It's just not. I don't have to be blinding all the time. Okay, so I'm not going to show you how these two colors look, but they are very pretty. Uh, the orangish one is called Sasha and the other one is called Maria. What we are going to do is use this baby because I'm excited about this. So I love me a good lip liner and even if I don't think it's going to have the best staying power in the world, I'm sure it'll be pretty good. And I can just eat like chicken nuggets instead of a burger for lunch. That's no big deal to me. So here we go with this lip liner. I'm going to get a little closer to y'all so you can see what I'm doing. My little table down here is so crowded, you guys. okay so flaw that bugs me my lips are crooked guys that's a real life struggle like it's flatter over here not by a lot but it's just enough to bug the mess out of me and that's enough for me okay so now we're gonna take this lip pencil and we're just gonna fill this in Ooh. Ah. Oh, I just gouged out my New York shade with my lip pencil. <sighs> Go me. Okay, so... <clears throat> First off, this color is very dark. I don't know why I didn't anticipate it being that dark, but for some reason I didn't. Second off, it matches the lip liner perfectly. It's not getting on my teeth yet. That's cool. Uh, my only issue is that I can almost guarantee you that this is going to transfer like a whole lot because I don't think it's one of those that's going to dry down and magically be matte. Which, I mean, that's, that's okay. It's about what I expected. Oh, I don't have my finishing spray over here. So I guess I'll do that in a second. But, here is the look for y'all one last time. 
Sorry if this video's gotten a little long. Y'all know all my videos are a little long because I love to talk to y'all. It's just a thing. But I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you don't subscribe to Deck of Scarlet, I would definitely recommend it. This is just something that I really like. Like this is like my little treat to myself and it comes in every other month. It's like 30 bucks. And it's just, they're so cute and they're always set up to make a real good like two or three looks and you can play with it, figure out some more, maybe combine them. Like I really want to combine that silver color with the pink color from last time because I think that'd be so cute. But I mean, they're just, they're really good little palettes. You're supporting, you know, your fellow YouTubers because it's always people that so far, it's not the people that have like, 3 million subscribers. It's been people that have like 200,000, which is still incredible, but it's people that are still kind of working to get where they want to be. You know, you're not probably, and don't hold me to this because maybe she will, you're probably not going to get a Jaclyn Hill palette in Deck of Scarlet, and you're probably not going to get a Laura Lee palette in Deck of Scarlet, but you're going to get stuff from some really good YouTubers that have great content, that have worked very hard to get where they are, and are working harder to get even farther than they are now. So I think overall it's just a really great thing like now that I'm on here and I understand how much work goes into just getting up like three videos a week. I really respect that a lot more than I used to. <clears throat> but in conclusion, again, here is the look. These lashes are the bomb. This look makes me so happy. Let me... Okay, so that was my YouTube poses. I'm still working on those. It'll take me a little while before I get them right. But I hope y'all have an incredible day. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell so you can see when I post again. Bye, guys.